This week on At Your Leisure, Gina and I get the kids out on the open water as we get to experience a fun day of sailing on the Great Salt Lake. Then, Reese and Marianne Stein are showing off a one-of-a-kind adventure in the Gulf Coast of Florida as they get to put on a different kind of mask and swim with the wildlife. And finally, we're joining our friends from Eagles Landing as they unveil a one-of-a-kind veterans memorial that is being dedicated at their brand new service station in Avoca, Iowa. It's all headed your way now. At Your Leisure is next. I'm Gina Mortensen. And I'm Kevin. And we're here at the Great Salt Lake Marina in the Great Salt Lake State Park. Yeah, a place that need, really needs no introductions, but we love Utah State Parks, and this is a really cool place to come, and even cooler because we're surrounded by boats, and I love boats. <laughs> and so do you. I absolutely love boats, but I have never been on a sailboat before, so this is a first. So we're going to go out and see some really cool things. They say sailboating is what you do when you don't want to do anything. And as a power boater, that looks kind of cool. Listen, there's snacks on board with our kids. They're getting and... <laughs> life jackets on right now. The skipper's giving them rules. <laughs> We're going to get out on the Great Salt Lake and experience sailing for the first time while you meet our captains, the Bennett. So we ordered the boat brand new from the Catalina factory in 2001. Uh, we got it in April of 2001 and have and it's our first boat we have uh we had a 42 foot catalina out in san francisco for a couple years and now i also have a, um, a catalina 27 that i keep in san francisco because that's where i work and so i use that for uh, an apartment so we have two boats we actually use this one more for sailing than the one in san francisco i actually grew up um, water skiing i grew up in seattle and so i have friends who have sailboats but i'd never sailed so when Matt said he wanted a sailboat, I was like, why? Why a sailboat? Why not a motorboat where you can do something and go fast? I, I've always wanted to sail um, on the ocean. So I've done, I've sailed from Southern California up to San Francisco. I've also brought tra a Transpac yacht back from Hawaii. So I've done uh, a cross ocean sailing. That was 21 days of sailing, which was a lot of fun. When we bought the boat, uh, we'd never been sailing, and so the first thing I did was I found an all-women sailing seminar, and I sent Tracy up to Seattle for a weekend, and uh, that she actually got to get on the boat, she actually got to sail it, and then when the boat arrived, uh, she was so excited to get out and go sailing. But a lot of people have um, trouble convincing their wives that sailing can be fun, and so that was the one tactic I did right was get her to enjoy sailing before we even got the boat. And so it, it worked out well. She actually is a better sail trimmer than I am. She's better at getting the, the pocket correct for those sails the way they need to be. I just drive the boat. I've actually taken my girls as well to some women's sailing seminars so that they could get more involved in, in sailing. And when I have all my kids on the boat, we all kind of fight over who's going to trim the sails. <laughs> so the name of our boat is Neverland and we've worked always been a fan of the Peter Pan story and because there's ships in it, pirates, and, and so we thought it would be a, a good name for a boat. That and we never wanted to touch land. I actually like the name Peter Pan, don't you? I think it's great. The boat kind of fits it. I'm a Peter Pan fan. Though. And they said this is relaxing and it really is relaxing. Our skipper is fantastic. He explains everything. We're having a really good time out here. The lake is beautiful. We are speeding along at one and a half knots. Speeding along. Listen, I have been laying on the bow of the boat relaxing and I'm with all of my children. Of course, I'm not doing all the work. They're doing all the work. Skipper says we need though. more wind, so when I talk, face the sail. So true. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we're going to keep sailing and send you guys off to this week's Where To. I'm Reese Stein, at your leisure in a bay off Florida's Gulf Coast in search of one of the world's gentlest and most endangered animals. No, it's not the Florida gator, nor the brown pelican, which has made a comeback since the ban on DDT, nor the fish-eating anhinga, akin to Utah's cormorants, nor the secretive and stealthy American bittern. 
It's the strange and wonderful Florida manatee. They're endangered, um, I think, pretty much all over the world. Um, they're common here in Florida, but even then, they're only common because they go to where the warm water is, so we kind of know where to find them. Our kids gave Marianne and me the gift of manatees for Christmas, at least the manatee experience. From the Crystal River docks, we motor across the bay to the spring-fed river where dozens of manatees have sought refuge from the winter chill of the Gulf of Mexico. We don masks and fins for a wildlife adventure of a lifetime to actually swim with these gentle giants in their natural habitat. It's a miracle. It's another miracle. <laughs> I get to swim with the manatees. It was fun. I was a little apprehensive about it because I'm always apprehensive about what I think it might be cold, but it was wonderful and what the water was fine and the manatees were friendly. Even on this un-Florida-like day, where the air temp drops into the 60s, the water is a comfortable 72 degrees, and we join the throngs for this amazing adventure. Oh, it was wonderful. We got in the water, and right away we could see manatees. It's murky in the river, but as you get up close to the springs, it clears out, and the manatees are just hanging out by the springs. Manatees are marine mammals that may grow to 10 feet long and weigh half a ton. They can stay submerged for up to 20 minutes before sticking their nose up for a quick sniff. They can't survive in water below 60 degrees. Loss of habitat and collisions with boat propellers are the most serious threats. Note the scars on this animal's back. Only about 6,000 survive around Florida, and last year nearly 600 died of mysterious causes. But here in the Crystal River, they're safe even from the probing palms of swimmers. The manatees were awesome. I really, uh, I really liked how they just came right up to you. I like seeing them and how they wouldn't like run away from you. You could just go right up to them. What do you like about the animals themselves? They're so cute. That's an amazing experience. How often do you get that close to that big of an animal? <laughs> and not have it bite your head and off. not at, well, <laughs> even then, you no, know, it's just amazing. You get in the water with them and they don't seem to care about you. In fact, they sometimes even want to be with you. It's cool. I mean, you're just swimming with like this, you know, multi hundred pound animal right next to you. I mean, it's just like swimming with the elephants. It's really cool. In fact, manatees are most closely related to elephants and may have returned to the sea, trading in legs for flippers. Florida groups are working to protect manatees and their habitat through reduced boat speed zones and secure sanctuaries. It's a species worth the effort and a unique Florida experience even better than Disney World. Or else, I can't think of anywhere in the world where you can do something like this and be this close to wildlife. Reese Stein at your leisure with this week's Where To Adventure at Crystal River, Florida. It's time to experience something new. Like new tech, new options, and new performance upgrades. Polaris gives you the fastest engaging all-wheel drive. The only GPS that lets you plan, track, and share. Ultra bright LED lights. And exclusive work features you can't get anywhere else. Polaris, think outside. Sick of staying home? Getting outside and exploring great open spaces is now more important than ever. Spend your summer exploring Tula Valley, where there is so much, so close. Plan your escape now at TulaValley.org. The Old West is still alive in Jueb County. Stories of the past are hidden in the desert mountains. From relics of mining history 
to places of outlaw mystery, tall tales to be discovered, and buried treasure to be uncovered. Juab, the key county of Utah. Welcome back to At Your Leisure, everybody. I'm Rhea Rossi Booth, and I am in my own kitchen. And we are gonna be cooking some beef burgundy tips uh, with this beautiful Yardley premium beef. I've got a top sirloin roast here, and I'm gonna tenderize this up. And this recipe is Chad's father's recipe that he made for, uh, for many, many years when he entertained. And this is a great recipe because you can make it for like four people, or you can make it for a hundred people. First thing we wanna do, I'm gonna tenderize it with this little thing here, which is really nice. And you wanna make sure and always do that because we're gonna stick this in a crock pot. Okay, so then I use my old fashioned, I use this one too, cause it's just fun and my grandma used to use it. So it makes me feel like old school. You wanna make slices, just slice it down the center like this. Cause you're gonna make it little, little tiny chunks so you can bite into it because you don't want them too big. So it's not like a beef stew, is it, is it just more like little tips. So you just take it and you just cut little, little bite-sized pieces out of it. And look at that beautiful beef. So now I've chopped up all of my, uh, my beef. So I'm gonna bring it over here and I'm gonna just add my four ingredients, which is not very much. So basically you start with the uh, Campbell's golden mushroom. Everybody knows what that is. That's uh, a staple when you're making anything in the, I think in an actual, you know, um, a crock pot. I just, this is so yummy. So you do two, it's, it's one can per pound. I got two pounds. So I'm doing two cans of the golden mushroom. So you're gonna do the French onion, two cans of French onion. You see what I'm talking about easy? This is like sinfully easy. Don't tell anybody that this is how easy it is because they will think that you spent hours making this. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna do two cups of uh, wine. Um, you can use cooking wine or, you know, just table wine. So we've got that and then we put in some onions. I just put some chopped onions in there, just sweet onions, one onion's good. And then you put a little bit of salt in there. I got a little Himalayan salt going here. Okay, then we got um, a half a cup of cream, which is really good. So we're gonna throw, this is heavy whipping cream, okay? So just go for the gusto. Don't do that, you know, light stuff. Just heavy whipping cream, it'll be really yummy. So I, I'm stirring this up and it looks absolutely delish. And then I'm gonna bring it over here to my little cutting board and I'm just gonna put my beef in here. I'm just gonna drop it in here. So you can literally cook this. If you're in a crock pot, you can cook it for like eight, 10 hours. If you have one of these really nice Insta pots, which is kind of the same kind of thing, only it speeds it up. You can do it for two hours and it'll taste just as good. And then I'm just gonna like throw in my egg noodles, whichever you guys wanna use. I love these, they're really tasty. Uh, they taste super homemade. And you can also use rice. So I'm just gonna throw those egg noodles in. And I think I'll throw a little bit more in there. There you go. And then we'll just uh, stir those up. And in about five or six minutes, these babies will be done. And then we will just pour that delicious mixture over the noodles and we'll have dinner. This, you can't get anything better than this. I'm telling you, this Yardley beef is so tender, so good. Mm. It tastes as good as it looks. There you go. Okay, so if you're interested in this recipe, just go to our website and we'll see you next time. My daughter and I had just finished a run at this place called Eagle Point. It's this really cool, but kind of challenging ski resort that has a real family feel to it. She was so excited because she beat me down the run. Deja vu. I saw myself as a kid out skiing my mom. It was a big moment for me. And all of a sudden it hit me. I was making the same memories for her. Hey honey, have you seen this tire? Do you think we'll make it? Not on that thing. Don't let bad tires ruin your trip. 
With service stations at every location along I-15, we can get you back on the road with fast, friendly, professional service. Eagle's Landing has everything you need along the way. Even the things you didn't know you'd need. Get ready for the road at Eagle's Landing. Reason number 13 to spend the night in Duchesne County. Experience the serenity of your own Red Rock Canyon with a private fishing retreat to Falcon's Ledge Resort. Eight fishing lakes, world-class rivers, fishing guides, and plenty of room to accommodate groups of all sizes. Discover all the other reasons to spend the night in Duchesne County at uintabasin.org. Make Marysvale your hub for adventure. Nestled in the Tusher Mountains with direct access to the Bayou Trail. Explore history from Miner's Park to Butch Cassidy's Cabin while blazing trails from mountain peaks to the shores of Otter Creek. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. This is great. This is fan absolutely fantastic. I think I'm going to go home and start shopping for a sailboat. You said there was no shopping out here. <laughs> I'm sure we can find shopping anywhere. We go. <laughs> Especially if we love we're the headed, experience. Right now we're headed three and a half knots. When they said this is relaxing, they meant this is relaxing. It is a great way to spend an afternoon though, for sure. I can see how they enjoy it. So I am not kidding, this is a blast. If you can hear the kids, they're having a great time. We're having a great time, sailing is way cool. Go check this out. There are some beautiful islands out there. Um, Antelope Island is a great view. Um, Stansbury Island, which is technically not an island, it's a peninsula, but um, some beautiful islands. Um, when people come out to sail on the lake, I let them know, I'm like, it's beautiful, but it's a little more rustic than uh, some of the other sailing you'll find. Uh, and we're just gonna be watching the ground because the lake's only 35 feet deep at its deepest spot. So really we're looking at the, the mountains around us when we sail and the waves. If you look in the water, there's a lot of birds. Uh, some of the birds will dive under the water and that's kind of fun to see. There's brine shrimp, sea monkeys, if you've looked in the back of an old magazine, they're just brine shrimp and they all come from Great Salt Lake. The eggs for the brine shrimp, when they are in the water, they create a trail miles long of a red trail and uh, they'll send out a spotter airplane to look for these trails and then they'll send the brine shrimpers out to where they're at and the brine shrimpers will, will pull the eggs out of the lake um, and then sell that, the eggs, as food for exotic fish. They also sell them as sea monkeys for kids that are interested in getting pets. It's been getting shallower every year. Uh, we're pulling a lot of the water out of the Great Salt Lake for drinking and watering lawns and things like that, and it's just being used so much due to the population increase, which is, you know, it's good that we have the water, but the lake just keeps getting lower and lower. Uh, the drought for the past couple years hasn't helped either, and so we really need, we really need a good uh, snowfall this winter, uh, not just for the skiers, but for the, for the boats on the lake. Right now, we're about as shallow as we can be and still be able to get out of the marina. We're skiers, so we don't usually boat in the winter. Winter is for skiing, but we do keep the boat in the water year-round. Year-round. And sometimes, like on a nice day, we'll go up, go skiing in the morning, and come out and go sailing in the afternoon. The issue with that is, is you have to keep the sails on the boat. And in the wintertime, we like to pull the sails off because we get high winds in the marina. Uh, that head sail uh, on our boat had to be replaced after we got hit with 215 knot winds and it just shredded the head sail. It's very relaxing to go sailing. Um, I took my brother out sailing once and he said, sailing's what you do when you don't want to do anything. And so we have, we have a rule. Uh, in Great Salt Lake, 85% of the time, it is relaxing. It's something you do when you need to unwind and release from the pressures of the daily, daily work. 10% uh, it's exciting fun, where everything's working perfectly, the lake is flat, and you'll just get on sail and, and 
cruise along at the perfect speed for your boat. And then there's 5% sheer terror. We hate those 5% sheer terror days. And we've had and, a few of them. And they happen. Hey, start <laughs> Okay, well, they get this thing turned around. We're gonna send you guys off to this week's Along the Way, sponsored by Rocky Mountain ATV. I didn't kill us! Good job! <laughs> Avoca, Iowa is about as hometown as America gets. Located in the middle of the heartland, Avoca is full of American ideals. Case in point, it's wonderful veteran population and support the town gives them. With this being the case, we could not think of a better business to rest its wings in Avoca than our very favorite travel plaza, Eagles Landing. All our company uh, members love our veterans, love, love America, love our country, and we're just grateful for their dedication and service to, to us and to their country. Every day, day in, day out, veterans, you know, past and present, um, can come in and get a free drink on us. Uh, whether it's coffee or a fountain drink, uh, we, we offer that every day of the year. And then on Veterans Day, uh, here in Avoca, Iowa, we're, we're serving our veterans for free um, at our American Pie Diner. Uh, definitely come in, grab a, you know, great cup of coffee or a fountain drink on us any day of the year. But this past Veterans Day was very special for service members of Avoca, as Eagles Landing dedicated its very own Veterans Memorial to honor those who have served. At 11-11, we're going to raise this big flag right to the left of me here, and uh, we'll have some background music. We'll, we'll say the Pledge of Allegiance, um, and we'll raise that flag. Um, and then we'll walk over to the Eagle and do a ribbon cutting, a little dedication and ribbon cutting on the Eagle, which has all the plaques of the, the different arms of the military and the service. And of course, it means the world to all of our veterans to know that for all the support they've given, they're being supported right back. You know, I, I, I can't say enough how much we appreciate when the businesses get behind the veterans. Uh, our local, uh, American Legion Branch does a lot for the community, for the kids in the community, for our school, and to have the businesses stand behind us as they do, it's 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 amazing. I think it's just, it's amazing actually, and it's amazing that they have this vulture out here, it's beautiful, you know? It's wow. pretty remarkable, because there's a lot of places that you'll work for and they don't, they don't show the same appreciation. We just wanted to give something back. Uh, you know, definitely we, we appreciate um, all the military fam you know, all members and their families and their dedication and their sacrifice that they uh, have provided for me personally and for us uh, you know, as a country. Without a doubt, Eagles Landing and Avoca, Iowa are a match made in heaven. We've got a veterans monument downtown, but it's an eagle also. So it fits very well with, the, with, the, with almost the theme. Uh, every town in Pottawatomie County has one of those eagles, so uh, fits in great. If you've served our great country, make sure to stop in at any Eagles Landing Travel Plaza for their appreciation and a free drink along the way. For At Your Leisure, I'm Nick Chase. Isn't it time to slow down? To enjoy the view to get some space and to social distance there's no better place to be than on the trails visit twoillacountytrails.com for your next adventure Coming down into the little valley and stuff, you can look over the whole thing. For me, I can just feel the, the stress just kind of melt away. There's so many trails to go up on and, and explore. The desert and then you've got the lake. 
you got the mountains. It's just a little bit of everything. It's a little piece of paradise out here. Pretty much anybody that I've brought up here, they will ask, can we come back? At Stedman's Recreation, trucks are arriving daily with back-ordered side-by-sides, ATVs, and dirt bikes. Let Stedman's Recreation help get you outside so you can explore and create memories to last a lifetime. Call or stop by Stedman's to hold your side-by-side, -side, ATV, or dirt bike with a small deposit. Yamaha, Honda, Polaris, and Beta. Plus, Stedman's has a full service department and Honda power equipment. Stedman's Recreation in Tooele. You may think it's 300 miles out here, but remember, it's only 30 miles back. Well, welcome back to At Your Leisure. How about that view? I'm hooked. Sailing is amazing. <laughs> it's been a fabulous weekend. You know, Matt and Tracy Bennett are great hosts and they've got a great boat. We really thank you, Matt and Tracy, for letting us come out on your boat today. They are BYU and Ute fans too. Just like us. It's perfect. So we just met. <laughs> We've had a good time. We've kind of sat back there cruising along three or four knots. Everybody uh, having great conversation, enjoying. The kids are laughing. Yes. A lot of jokes. It's been a beautiful day. This has been fun. This is what boating's about, and this is what the boating community is about. But you know what? We're heading back in. I know. The day's coming to an end, but before we end here, we're going to check out this week's sticker winner. This week's contest winner is license plate number Y40VJ, who was spotted out on the trail a few weeks back. It looks like they're the lucky winner of a Clearly Tough windshield for their rig. Clearly Tough offers the strongest windshields on the market. Visit clearlytough.com for more details. And be sure to call us on Monday at 801-947-8888 to claim your prize. Well, congratulations to that sticker winner. Let's take a look at next week's show. Next week, Chad and Rhea are joining our friends from Stedman's to go out to explore some exciting opportunities for riding electric bikes through a unique ghost town just outside of Zion's National Park. Then Steve Human is back and he's taking us out to Maui to discover the King's Trail as he shows off the road to Hana. Finally, we're joining the Utah Off-Road Group and Brett Stewart of the OHV Advocates who are teaming up to help gather some much needed home necessities for members of the Navajo Nation. Now, let's take a look at our Trail of the Week. This week's Trail of the Week is the Red Mountain Trails, which are located in Uinta County, approximately eight miles north of Vernal. To get more information on this trail or any of the other trails that have been completed on the Trail 360 project, visit outsiders.zone. Next week's show looks great. You definitely don't want to miss it. We've had a great time out here with Matt and Tracy Bennett from Draper and their awesome boat and getting me hooked on sailing. Thanks, Matt, for getting me hooked on sailing. <laughs> We might actually end up with a boat next year. Who knows? <laughs> you never know, but what a really relaxing day that was. I had no idea it could be that relaxing and that much fun, and we really enjoyed ourselves. And our kids had a great time. Yep, I could spend a couple Saturdays doing that. Yeah. And you know what? Utah State Parks puts on the best show in the nation. They have the best state parks, and this one doesn't really uh, let down. This is as good as they get. They have a great visitor center. They've got amenities. I really like it out here. So, you know what? As you're traveling around Utah, remember there's so much to see, so many things to do. Don't be afraid to pull over and find those spots, but we're out of time. I wish we could go for another half an hour. I hope you've enjoyed the show. As you're getting around around Utah, remember that there's adventure around every bend. You just have to get out there and create it yourself. At, at your leisure. leisure.